The main photo shows a tom tit. The small video to the left is a variable oyster catch. The small video to the left is a wecker investigating my tent. This is my wildlife watching vlog for my trip, my hike along the Heafy Trail. This was the first thing I did during my two month backpacking trip around New Zealand. I arrived by plane at Christchurch and then took the coach to the start of the Heafy Trail on the right. So I went to Takaka and then followed the road up. I took like a very local bus and then I started walking the trail, which is about a five, four or five day hike. And you'll see as all the pictures pop out from the map how I was doing as I went along the track. Famous for being, oh, this is a New Zealand pigeon. I think this might have been the first really good view I got of a native bird. Really, really exciting. And this is a tomtit. Tomtit's very inquisitive. This sort of kept coming to see me a few times and eventually flew off. Heafy Trail is famous uh, partly because it, there's a strong population of great spotted kiwi, which is the main reason I came here. Oh, this is a rifleman, another native bird. So unless I say otherwise, these are native birds. This is a bellbird. So this helps the forest get a lot of protection, including things like this. These are metal barriers. Possums are introduced animals. Uh, they do a lot of damage, including they climb trees. And if they can take out the growing sort of top of the tree, it completely kills the tree. Oh, can you see the little sign about the, s the snails? We'll look out for those and might see one later. And if, if a possum takes out the top of the tree, that's it, the whole tree's going to die. Oh, this is an introduced bird from Europe. This is a dunnock. I was a bit surprised to see this, because I see these a lot in Europe. This is a native bird, a South Island robin. So if you put those metal barriers on the trees, their claws can't dig in, and so they can't get past that point. This view of the bush, the, the forest, most of New Zealand would have been covered in forest a few hundred years ago. Much like most of the planet, Earth was covered in forest a few thousand years ago. And I'm on a very well-maintained trail because you have to pay to go on this trail per night. I mainly camped so it was a bit cheaper, but you can pay a bit more to stay in the huts. We'll look at one of the huts in a moment. And that money helps pay for looking after the trail, which is good because it encourages people to walk on the path, reduces damage generally. This is a grey warbler. Aha! One of the huts. So let's do a little feature out of this hut. This is Goulin Down's hut. I met this wecker who seems to think uh, it, it hangs around the hut a lot. If you put your rucksack down it will check your rucksack out and if you've left anything even slightly undone there's a good chance that that wecker might get in and steal your food. Which because you're on a multi-day hike you probably want to not have your food eaten. Uh, they use rainwater runoff to fill a water tank to provide just a little bit of running water for a couple of sinks for doing washing up and so you can get drinking water. This is a toilet. There's a spinny thing on the top which uh, helps aerate it and there'll be a big hole in the bottom where everything kind of gets digested. It can smell a little bit if it's a bit warm. This is the outdoor kitchen area if you're camping. There's also an indoor kitchen area and bunks and stuff inside the hut if you're paying to stay inside the hut. The money also helps pay for things like these bridges. There's some very wet areas of marshland. I was on other hiking trails where there weren't the bridges, so you took it horribly wet, but here you had the extra infrastructure to make it a bit more of a present hike. Oh wow, it's one of those snails. It's a giant snail. Well, I say giant, it's like three or four centimeters long. And it's a cool, pa oh, this is another rifleman, by the way. So the snail is called Paweli Fanta. That's the kind of Latin name. Oh, it's another one of these impressive bridges, saving a pretty serious river crossing. And if we look down, we've got another non-native species here. White-tailed deer tracks, you can see them. We'll get a close-up of one of the deer tracks in a moment. This is kind of interesting because is this as damaging as other introduced species? Hmm, not sure. Even the dunnock possibly isn't very good because it might be competing for nesting areas with native birds. White-tailed deer, it's not clear whether it's really competing with anything, although it can, for example, trample eggs if there are eggs on the ground. Um, and what it does is it, it will eat vegetation, but it's thought that maybe, all oh, do you recognise this? It's a wecker, so obviously I'm at a camp. I'm camping outside one of the huts, so there's going to be wecker, wecker around. 
By the way, the weka is a native species, flightless bird, quite a lot like a kiwi, not exactly a kiwi, and has learned to kind of scavenge for food from hikers. Yeah, so, uh, and there are these birds. Oh, anyway, uh, talk about the deer in a minute. This is a possum, can you see it? I got up very early, I got up 2 o'clock in the morning from this hut, so I could walk down towards the coast here during the dark, and I did see a great spotted kiwi. Wow, but I didn't get any photos at all, and it was raining and stuff. But I saw a kiwi. Woo! Exciting. And then I walked along the coast. Um, one of the one of the nice things about the Heafy Trail is such a variety of habitats, and the last day is along the coast, the coast here. In, and we're going to see a couple of video clips now to finish off the variable oyster catchers. And to finish the story about the deer, they graze, which is a bit like the moa, which is a now extinct bird, which used to live in New Zealand, so it's thought maybe they're just filling that ecological niche. So maybe the deer is one of the few introduced things which isn't having too much of an impact. Hey, thanks for watching. Check out my blog, link in the description.